Hey guys, welcome back in. Thank you so much for joining me for this next one. In the last episode, Arthur and Sadie went and rescued John from prison because they wanted to, because they care about John, and also because Abigail, the father of her kid, is about to be hanged, and it was important to get back a camp member. So we go and do that. We get back, and Dutch is so beyond livid. Like, you can't even put it into words. I could never have suspected how mad he would truly be, but he was mad. Because we didn't follow his so-called plan. Spoiler alert, he had no plan. I don't think he ever intended on getting John back because he started alluding to not trusting John. So I think he wanted to let him get hanged, honestly. And him and Mike are buddy-buddy, which I think says a lot about Dutch. I don't trust Dutch anymore. I've given his... Oops. I have given him chance after chance trying to think, okay, well, Dutch can come back and it'll be fine, but... Oh my god. In, in the intro, Arthur. But yeah, I don't trust Dutch. I think he is... Who's that? I think he is no longer the guy that Arthur probably knew in the past. And I don't think that he can lead us well. So, I'm thinking at this point, hopefully Arthur is thinking for himself and... Is starting to question Dutch enough to where he's not just blindly following him, which I think is important. Abigail says she thinks he's lost his mind. I think multiple camp members feel that way. I don't know where Dutch is. I looked around camp trying to talk to him and he's not there. I have a thing in town for Micah. So I'm thinking we'll start there. And... I could also do the Strauss thing, and there's a letter there. There's a couple things I could do. Mr. Morgan. Should I do this Strauss thing? I guess so. I don't want to do any more errands hey, for you. Strauss. How are you? About, about how I look. Okay. <sighs> are you, um, are you perhaps available for some work? Debtors? Yes. I guess. Your no. commitment to your duties is admirable. <coughs> you know, Mr. Morgan, you are... Well, I'm sorry for you. Hmm? No, never mind. I didn't... Look, Strauss. You take care. I ain't dead yet. No, of course not. That's what I was saying. I... Uh, I... A debtor, Strauss. Who owes you money? Well, uh, there's a deserter from Fort Wallace. Head to him first. They're looking for him out on the road near Three Sisters. Man's name is J. John Weathers. J. John Weathers. Hey. Then there's a miner over in Annisburg. He's called, well, he's called Arthur. <laughs> like you. Huh. <laughs> Arthur Londonderry. Family man, desperate, you know the type. Couldn't one of the boys do this? I tried. They lacked your figure. Vigor, huh? Really. Uh, all right. Uh, take care, uh, uh, Mr. Morgan. I wonder if... Okay. I wonder if now that he's sick, he's going to handle this differently. Because this all started from him collecting debts. Yeah. Morgan. I assume, unless he caught it from someone else, but we're all just assuming he got it from Thomas, right? What is this? I'm assuming this is Mary. Dear sir, you were once no. very kind to Bo and myself, and it pains me to ask you to show us further kindness. But I have nowhere else to turn and nobody else upon whom I can impose. I will, of course, pay you handsomely for your troubles. My family have turned quite mad and are threatening oh to God. send me away to stop my work, which they say is disgracing them. As if their history of absolute moral depravity, utter debauchery, and perpetual drunkenness did not disgrace them enough. I must escape, yet I am kept prisoner here. Can you help? Most days I am to be found at the cabins on the plantation. The main house and all it stood for are thankfully no more. Yours faithfully, Penelope Braithwaite. I was kind of worried she was going to be mad. So I guess not. She's fine with it. Wonder if she knows what happened though. Like the full story. It's possible she doesn't. Where is for a bit if you want. Reverend. <clears throat> Can we speak? 
Of course. What's wrong? I'm frightened. I am so very frightened. Of what? Of everything. This... This cannot go on. How many more times will we survive? These past months have been hellish. Have they? For me... For me, they've been different. I'm a changed man, Herr Strauss. Entirely changed. I have been saved from hell. We are going to die. Of course, but not yet. And the path shall become clear. I have been saved, Herr Strauss. You've gone mad. Mm. Oh, sorry. I wasn't eavesdropping. I would never do that. So he is scared. Everyone else seems to be acting kind of normal. Alrighty, Nugget. Nugget really kind of just looks like Pickle. We can go to Penelope. We need to collect the debts. And we have Micah to do. Hmm. Should we just start with Micah? Let's we'll see where the debts are. First one's here. Now, why wouldn't it give me the one that's in Annisburg? The one right beside me first. Yeah, let's go collect these debts. I really want to see how Arthur handles it. I'm kind of hoping he just gives them the money to pay it or something. Because he's a changed man, you know? Now that he's sick, we're doing good stuff. Good deeds. But I don't think Arthur was ever that bad. Well, actually, <laughs> I don't know. I'm too attached. Maybe I am put my blinders on. Arthur does no wrong in my eyes, you know? Oh. I'm coming. I'm coming. Dr. Arthur here to save you. Oh, looks like you could use a hand. Oh, please. Please help me. I'm, I'm losing blood. Oh, please. Okay. Save me. This arm. Did Nugget just run off? Keep pulling. I can feel it getting looser. Okay. Oh, oh. oh, this one. Don't, don't stop. Oh God. You guys think the metal was oh, in his bone? Oh, oh. I, uh, I gotta get some scrap or, or something. Here. Oh. I'll give you some whiskey too. Oh, Mister, you. I thought I was gonna be. Oh God. Oh, I thought I was gonna be a god. It doesn't say give whiskey yet. You can take whatever you want from my pack for saving me. Oh. Here, this will help with the pain at least. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh. Yes. Yes. Oh. Didn't we rescue oh. someone else that oh. had the same thing happen to them? Oh. I can't remember where, though. Oh. You gonna be okay? Alrighty, sir. Pickle, you scared Pickle. I mean, oh no, Nugget. This is Nugget. Oh. I miss Pickle so much. Damn it. It's just not now the same. Field day over this back in town. They will? Okay. Maybe he'll go into town and then he'll be waiting for me and he's like, Oh my god, I want to buy you something really expensive for free on the house. I'm like, oh, no, no way. <laughs> me? Little old me? Thank you, sir. Let's go collect some debts. Hopefully for the last time. Has he not learned his lesson yet? Quit giving loans. Find J. John Weathers, okay? Is that him right there? Oh. What is wrong oh. With us? Hello? How J. John are you? Weathers. They call me Snow Goose now. Whatever they call you. You Arthur. borrowed money off of Leopold Strauss. The bills come due. This ain't the best time, sir. This ain't the best time for anyone. 
Mr. Strauss knew it was a long-term proposition. The debt is due. Okay. I got supplies meant to last through the winter. You can take them. Just, is there any way you can help me? I stay out here. There won't be anyone to pay you. I ain't here to help. I'm here to collect. We're all, all of us up against it. Look, there's men after me. <laughs> They're killers. I ain't a deserter, just an objector. It ain't right. If there was another way than running, I need your help. Shut up. Please. I... Up here, it's him. It's too late. Oh, oh man. I clear off, sir. Ah, shit. Well, seeing as I'm here, I'll, I'll do what I can for you. That's gotta be all. Oh, I, I feel so bad. His wagon. Letter to Martin from father? It's clear. Oh. Man. It's all right, my darling. You can come out. damn wagon we could probably still save something really now look you can take the silver locket for the debt now they're giving me a choice i mean i'm gonna absolve damn it dad just get her somewhere safe go on thank you fella you oh, know you... there ain't enough kindness in this world that's for sure but you I don't know nothing about counters. I wish we could have had that choice at the beginning of the game. <sighs> Dang. That's so unfortunate. What did they shoot that would catch the thing on fire? Did they throw a Molotov or something? Must have. All right, so then the other one's in Annisburg, so that's perfect, because then we can go to Micah and see what the heck he wants. Nugget. Nugget. Over here. Let's look at that letter. Dear Martin, I really want you to work on your temper. That behavior at lunch last week was disgraceful. Abusing the clergyman and Miss Hill Hillcott. She's a widow. He's a man of God. And you with a drink inside you speaking like that? Your mother was appalled. I was humiliated. You'll get yourself killed one of these days if you carry on like that in public instead of around family. I expect better from you. You're raised to be a proper gentleman, your father. Well, I think he might be. His dad wasn't wrong. His son is now dead. <laughs> Oopsie. All right. Okay. We're heading to here now. Wow. What? You Easy guys. <gasps> Look at this. Oh my goodness. It is so, this might be my new favorite place. Yep. <gasps> nugget, nugget. Oh my gosh. Is this the highest point you can get on? I wonder if you can go up there. Wow. So beautiful. So, so beautiful. 
There was a question mark down by the lake. I wonder if it's still there. Oh, I just heard someone. I'm a good man. Is he lying? <laughs> you're wasting your breath. Sounds like your brother should have smart you up when he had a chance. Please, you gotta believe me. I'm the wrong man. You got the wrong man, okay. Well I can't let the innocent go. I just can't do it. What if he's lying though? Which he very well could be. Stay back or you'll be sorry. Why don't you fellas let him go, huh? Stop or I'll shoot you dead. Oh man, are we doing this? I thought his horse was gonna ride off the cliff. I'm gonna lay you flat. Holy shit! You don't wanna do this! Okay. Oh my. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm trying. Please tell me you didn't lie. I put my gun away. Can't you get me off this? I'm thing? trying! Cut free. You better be innocent, sir. Jesus, thank you. They had me mixed up with my brother. You swear? There's a high rolling poker game above the Saint Denise gunsmith. Hopefully, that can serve as a thank you. Ooh, wait, I think someone already told me about this, did they? Didn't they? Sure, okay. We'll just get out of here before someone else comes Thank looking. Thank you. Appreciate it. Wait, 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 hold on. Get off, Nugget. These are bounty hunters. They're gonna have a lot of money, money on them. Four dollars. Oh, really? Okay. Well, hell. Poker game above the gunsmith in San Denis. I'm pretty sure- I'm almost positive someone told me that before. I just don't- Oh! Wait. Let's see if we can find that question mark. Wait, there it is. Can you help? What? Oh. <laughs> Can you help me, mister? What's the problem? My goddamn horse got spooked and run off. Are you hurt? Not too bad, at least. But he took my damn leg. Sorry. He went that way, I think. His name's Buell. Buell? Second Buell. time a trick named Buell cost me a leg. Huh? Twice? Buell was my general when I lost it. Oh, uh, okay. Anyway, if you see an angry bastard of a horse with my wooden leg, I'd be real grateful. I'll bear that in mind. Let's go get that damn horse. If anyone can wrangle it, you know it's me. He called the right guy. Okay, boy. Okay, Horse Whisperer Arthur on the case. Where is it at? Oh, there's Buell. Damn, that's a pretty horse. That's a really pretty horse. Slow and steady, slow and steady. There he is. Gotta be really calm. 
Oh yeah, let's study it. What kind of horse is that? A Dutch warm blood. Now what is that supposed to mean? Carmelo Gold. That is a pretty horse. We haven't seen any of these kind of horses anywhere. Whoa, easy. Shit, spooked all right. Whoa. Whoa. It's okay. It's okay, Buell. All right. Don't stress. It's all right. Oh my god, look at its eyes! This might be the prettiest horse I've ever Bear seen. Boy. What if I stole it? <laughs> this horse is so flipping pretty. That's it, boy. Wow. I'm glad I found this. Easy, boy. Easy, boy. Oh, easy, boy. It's okay, boy. Easy. You're okay. You're okay. Easy. Come on. There we go. Wait. Can I have well, the horse? Yeah. Let's get you back. This is my dream horse, actually. This one is. This is the one I want. Man, he is so lucky. Yeah, he's just where you left him. Can't go far with that leg in your stirrup. Can't go bucking him like that. Yeah, you can't do better that. Better than good, you hear? Or I'll get come the and steal he's you. Not a man you want to cross. No matter how big and strong you are. Wow. You guys, is there anywhere I can get this kind of horse from? With blue eyes, preferably. I feel like that has to be a rare horse. Where is he? Nugget. What are you doing, Nugget? Come on. I just heard a bear. I feel like I probably could have just rode the horse. Wait, can I? The mule cannot be mounted right now. It must be led back. Okay, never mind. You here? Come on. You're not so nasty. I was kind of hoping I could ride the horse for just a minute. Dang it. I found him. You're a good man, mister. Mr. Arthur. You're right. He's a brute. <sighs> Hamish Sinclair. Yeah, he's a great horse. Aside from when the devil got him. Hey, you want to <laughs> hand me that leg there, please? And while you're at it, give old Buell a kick for me, would you? No, I'm Look only at kidding. him. <laughs> Thank you. Or <sighs> but a snake that spooked them. They do that. They're a real gentleman, you know? Sometimes, maybe. Yeah. How'd you lose a leg? Oh, in the war. Cannonball. Pretty clean, though. I don't have much pain, and I didn't get any gangrene. Young boy went into battle with me. Got cut in half, so all things considered, I'm doing pretty well, I guess. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> So, uh, how is the false one? It's okay. I can still hunt, fish, enjoy the outside. I weren't sent too crazy by it. Anyway, I ain't got much to pay you with. Don't worry about you know, it. That's okay. You like fishing? You can come with me someday. I know some Damn, pretty good spots. Damn, look at that horse. Uh, I'm a pretty poor fisherman. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm great. So between the two of us, we do okay. <laughs> My cabin is right over on the other side of O'Cray's okay. run there. Thanks again. Okay. Well, you throw me again, you old dumb bastard. I'm gonna put a bullet in you. Don't do that. I'll see you again. Don't kill the horse. Okay, boy. Where can I, I get a horse like that? Yep. Nugget, close your ears. 
You didn't hear that. It's fast too. But I'm faster. Ka chow! <laughs> JK. I'm kidding! I'm kidding. I'm not racing the old man, the old veteran. That would be rude. Oh, that cabin? Wait! You guys, is this the same area that Hosea took me hunting at the beginning of the game? Where are we at? Grizzlies. Was it? No, no, no. We were in Grizzlies West, wasn't we? Weren't we? No. I don't know. Oh. You guys let me know. Was this the same area? For some reason, I think it might have been. Stop right there, friend. Woo! Fish on the line. Really? Easy choice. Hop on down or next round's in your skull. You mean to rob me? <laughs> no. I don't think so. The sucker's out. I know you guys are playing. I mean, that was pitiful, boys. Yeah. That was pitiful. Execution, I'd give it a zero. Find Arthur Londonderry. Is he up here? Or down there, maybe. goodness for some reason it wouldn't let me go into the grass well I don't know how All in the right, world I survived that but now, I'm looking for an Arthur Londonderry I was told he works here Londonderry oh you want to speak to the foreman he's down in the pit the one I'm beat up. Look out. Proceed with caution. This is a maze. I'm just gotta kinda guess where to go. Wait, wait, wait. You the foreman? Arthur London there. She here? I'm sorry, feller, but you're too late. Arthur's dead. <laughs> the man's dead? What's wrong with you? Oh, boy. You can't exactly beat it out of him now, can you? Ooh. <laughs> You might get something off his widow just across from Butcher's Creek, but I'd hurry. You ain't gonna be the only one a knocking. <laughs> you ought to be ashamed of yourself. Hey, I ain't the godforsaken money lender. But why is it funny? You're the one laughing. The known location of the target has been updated. Okay. I think this is it. You gonna pack all your stuff, Angel? I don't wanna go. It'll be an adventure. I don't want an adventure. I want my daddy. Oh. <coughs> uh, Mrs. Londonderry. <coughs> Arthur's dead. I know. I'm sorry for it. It's just, we lent Arthur some money, you see, and... So it was you, you son of a bitch. 
What do you want now? You want my boy's shoes? You want the food out of our bellies? What little there is? You want me to lie down for you? No, no. I... Arthur gave everything to pay your bills. Everything. And now there's some fellas coming to take the house. There ain't nothing left, mister. just wanted to say the debt canceled and to you know, take this it won't bring your husband back I know you need money and I don't well you're a good man I just wish you'd done it before he worked himself into the grave but you know Maybe you and your friend that lent him the money could do things differently. Like, not threaten a man. Excuse me. I'm sorry, ma'am. I really am. So who was threatening him? Go confront Strauss. Was it Micah? I feel bad. I really do. But on the other hand, why would they take a loan out? But then be mad that they have to pay it back. Unless, I guess, there was violence involved, then... Then that's not right, you know? Hopefully that money will help and keep the house, maybe. Corresponding, level two. Can I just scale the mountain, possibly? Let's try it. We're gonna give it a shot. Oh, wait, hold on. Roden. Where is camp at? I've kind of lost it a little there bit. There we go. Um. I think it's right here. Who is that? There we are. Just me. Welcome back, Arthur. Thank you, Charles. We're about to cuss out Strauss. Where's he at? I think that's him sitting right there. We'll see if Dutch is here after this too. Hey. What's he gonna say? How did you get on, Mr. Morgan? Just then. Hmm. Just... Get up. What? Get up! What? What is wrong? Nothing's wrong. Nothing at all. What are you doing? Something I should have done a long time ago. Get your bag. Is this it? I don't understand. I ain't gonna kill you. Though I probably should. You disgust me. And you shame us. If we could be shamed any more than we already are, that should do. Go! I don't understand you. What are you doing? Go and get a job! You know, they, they say the sick delude themselves. I was your friend. You and me, we ain't decent. But those folk, they was. Now here. Take that. Take that and get lost. I'm leaving.
Wow. Kicked him out. I thought he was just gonna cuss him out. <laughs> okay, I guess he can sleep right there. So he wasn't doing that. Well, I, I assume Dutch told him to do that, right? Wow. So he's lending people money and then using the muscle of the group to threaten people to pay it back. But it doesn't even seem like he was like being a man of his word. Like the guy said, this is supposed to be a long-term investment, the first guy. So whenever Strauss is ready for it back, we just go get it. I guess he preys on the poor. People who he knows can't pay it back or something. And then takes their stuff. Alright, do we see Dutch anywhere? His tent's open now. But I don't think he's in there. Can I spy? Is there anything that we can take? No? Mm. Charles. I think that's Sadie. Hey, big man. What you worried about? Really worried. <sighs> Me too, Uncle. What's going to happen, you know? To everybody. I guess folks is going to make a choice. Whether they live or die. And you? I don't have that choice no more. I'm just trying to help others see clearly. That's my choice. You're a good man, Arthur Morgan. Good man. Here we are. I feel like the group is gonna break up. Everybody's gonna have to go their own way to survive. people gone you guys Hosea Lenny Kieran Sean just doesn't seem like there's many people left Molly five people dead Okay, let's go to Micah. We go ahead and feed yeah, Nugget. Boy. There you go. See what the heck Micah wants. I have a feeling he's gonna say something that's really gonna irk me. He's gonna say something like, yeah. "You need to trust Dutch." What's wrong with you? What? shots and it attacked his horse give health care um, I got some uh, medicine medicina medicine I'm past medicine whiskey I'm trying to help I'm trying no puedo oh if I loot him, I think I'm gonna lose honor. 
What if I lose this horse? I guess I should have given him whiskey to lose to ease the pain. Why wouldn't health cure help him? It helps me. I've fallen off a cliff and I survived. Can we talk about how that wolf survived like four shots? Five shots? Look at that view! Oh, oh! oh nugget! Where is the autopilot in this game? You just hold A, right? Oh, no, no! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think you have to go cinematic mode for it to do that, right? I'm not steering. I'm, tr I'm trying to see what happens. Oh! No, that doesn't work. Nugget is gonna r drive us straight off the edge of the map. Here we go! I'm kinda nervous. This is either gonna be... A very calm conversation of disagreements, I feel like, or there's gonna be shooting involved. Come here, pickle. I mean, I should have got a horse that looked different. You didn't remember where you put it. I was focusing on the bear, goddammit. You have unopened mail. It's you! My friend! This guy is your mysterious well, savior? I was just telling my friend here about how I nearly died out there one night. Ooh, sounds like quite a tale. Here's an idea. Gunsmith's a friend. Pick out what you want and I'll pick up the tab. It's okay. Oh, yes, indeed. Anything for you, buddy. Thank Anything. you, sir. You are nothing if not generous. That's kind of you. Thank Thanks. you very much. You're very welcome. All the best. I well, will did definitely be taking that up. What? I probably would have gotten it open, but I said it so right. It really got me. Uh, you taking credit for the quality of the trap? I'm just <laughs> saying that it, if there were a bear that got trapped <laughs> in it, it would have been trapped That's really fair. Good. That's yeah, fair. But you trapped your own damn self instead, didn't you? Oh my god, these knuckleheads. Let's see if I can pick up the smell and then we'll go get our gun and then we'll talk to Micah. Welcome, welcome. Receive mail. What's it gonna be? Second invitation. 13 days ago. Y'all right there, sir? No, I'm not yes. alright. Why? Farewell. Been some grip going around here, and I just thought, uh. You thought I had it. Now, what is this? Monsieur Kilgore, I could not have wished for better results from my unconventional partnership. The works hanging in our gallery are quite rightly authenticated, and that grubby little man from New Haven has acquired some humility. Excellent. I do hope you might be willing to work with me again. Many men of more secure positions than yours would do desperate things to be in the good graces of the mayor. And to use an Americanism, I feel I still have some chips to cash. I trust you understand my meaning. As before, come to the back of the mayoral residence one night and Jean-Marc will let you in. Thank you again for your friend, Henry Lemieux. Or Henri Lemieux. How do you say it? I know you guys told me, but... Hold on, let me get away from these guys. And read the other one. Mon cher ami, I made it. I have the sun on my face, sand between my toes, and a beautiful va <laughs> vahine in my bed. The islands are everything I thought they would be and more. You would not believe the light, the colors, and the people here. So much brighter and more alive than anything or anyone in Saint Denis. It feels like a world away, which of course it is. You may be surprised, but you're my only true friend from those dark dreary days. You did not ask for anything, you only gave. How perfect, how rare. I detest selfish asses more than civilization itself. But what is civilization really but organized selfishness? I must constrain my most primal and vital desires so you may be comfortable. Pa, no mercy. 
This island paradise is what the civilized world would call primitive, but the people here are the most generous in ways I may not put into words I have met. Why is this? Because they are free. I have never painted like I paint now. It is work the likes of which has never been seen. Before I sent this, I shipped some canvases to New York to be sold. Perhaps if you own that little scribble, it may be worth something now. Either that or laugh at my ineptitude. Always yours, CC. I still have it. So what do I do with it? Is this the gunsmith? Yep. Hey friend, what do you need? Um, a town named Jenkins owes me. Said I could put something on his tab. He Jenkins, sure did. Huh? All right, take a look around. Okay. Let's see, what do you got? Hopefully some really nice stuff. Carcano rifle? I feel like I have plenty of rifles is the problem. <gasps> no, 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 that's what I want. That's what I want. Repeating shotgun. So noted. You have a good day now. That is what I want. Okay. We don't need to change the style. We just need to get some ammunition. Express. Regular. High velocity. I'm just going to max out on all the ammo. High velocity. High velocity. Might as well get the upgraded holster. Upgraded gun belt. I should have done that already. Where do you get the upgraded arrows? Remember how on when I was hunting the moose it said I needed... Did it say improved arrows or something? Maybe you have to craft them. Okay. I think that's good. Now, we head to Micah. See what the heck he wants. Where's he at? Here? Was you followed? No. Was you followed? I said no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what is your problem? What is your problem, partner? You don't uh, you don't look so good. What is you? wrong with you? Nothing wrong with me. I'm fit as a fiddle. And not inside you, ain't. I'm just a realist, friend. Michael reckons there's a rat. Oh, does he? On what evidence? He's only back a minute. Pinkerton show up. <laughs> We've been on the run since you two fools went crazy in Blackwater. We barely escaped with our lives in Saint Denis. Now we got a rat. Well, Molly clearly talked, but who else? Maybe we pushed things too hard. Uh, Maybe time for folks like us has passed. Another rat? We don't need a rat. We got sloppier than the town drunk, and they know who we are, and where we are, and what we're doing. The way I see it, best thing we can do is let the week go. Move on, get our money, and start over. That ain't happening. Well, something's gotta happen, and fast. Otherwise, go along, them Pinkertons, they've got us panned in here, and ain't none of them stopping. Well, Cornwall's why we're here. Shall we, Dutch? Yeah, it's time to go. Let's head to the river. Oh, leave Cornwall alone. He ain't. <laughs> we need money. But revenge? Now? Of course it's for money. Come on, Arthur. This better not be no stupid revenge mission, Dutch. It ain't worth it. Don't be ridiculous. Oh, Arthur. It's just a simple social call. <laughs> simple. Nothing is simple with Dutch. And now Mike is encouraging it. So what are we going to say to him that needs to be said? He has been hunting us since Valentine. He is the reason that Hosea got killed. His sugar business is destroying the people of Guarma. 
This town, Arthur, is his town. He bought it just to destroy these folks. His sugar, his oil, his law. These are wrongs that you can't write, Dutch. We're wanted men. Hmm. So why did you go for John against my wishes? I didn't want him hanged. Neither did I. We're gonna cut a deal, Arthur. What are you talking about? We want out, and Cornwall wants us to stop robbing him, and we all know his money is what's keeping the Pinkertons on our tail. He's America, Arthur, and I want uh, out. I don't like and the he, sound of this. He won't let us go. This ain't making a lot of sense, Dutch. It will, son. It will. A deal. Look at noise, the oil in that water. And then we're gone. What are the chances that Micah isn't working for the Pinkertons? Cornwall's He's working for Leviticus land, Cornwall. So let's get down here behind these crates. Arthur, get behind something before you're spotted. Okay. Arthur. I said, get yourself hidden. Is that not what he meant? Where I was hit? Okay. Thought I was hidden. I want to thank you for your hospitality, Mr. Cornwall. This was a business meeting, Mr. Milton. We are not friends. I have spent a considerable fortune with your agency and still nothing. This Vanderlyn robs me and laughs at me. I asked for the best. I paid for the best. We are very close, Mr. Cornwall. I know you've heard this before. Can't, sir. Send a telegram to Goldberg in New York. Tell him I won't borrow it more than 3.2%. Sorry, no, I have heard it before. And get that army man to pay his portage charge. Yes, sir. We are doing all we can within the confines of the law. The law? I think we both know what you can do with your law. Find me Dutch Vanderlyn. Bring him here and leave the laws to them as need them. Good day, sir. Come uh... along, Mr. Ross. We have work to do. Mr. Didsbury. Mr. Cornwall. Now listen up, Didsbury. What's all this about strikes? I bought into this mine because of mismanagement. And I intend to make it a success no matter what the cost. It's the wages. Folk feel Folk that you... feel? Business doesn't give two figs about feelings, sir. Not two figs. It's a nonsense that will bring a plague on both our houses, sir. Perhaps there is a plague on your house already, Mr. Cornwall. What do you want, sir? I'm not quite sure just yet. Your impudence will be your undoing, sir. I'm undone already. Even my best friend here, he thinks I'm crazy. And like this poor fellow you are talking to, my feelings are hurt. You robbed me, sir. And you robbed him. Funny world. You show a criminal's grasp of sophistry, sir. I did no such thing. You kill. I kill. You rob. I rob. Only difference I can see is I choose whom I kill and rob and you destroy everything in your path. I've heard just about enough. I'll tell you what. You give me this ship, $10,000, and safe passage out of here, I'll let you live. <laughs> I'll do no such thing. <laughs> you sure? Good. I prefer it this way. You lost your land! Noise, Arthur! Oh! oh I, I can't even shoot because I'm in shock. He... He knew he wasn't gonna take it. You're surprised. I shot his hat off. Oh my god, this gun is so good. Let's find him and get out of here. 
Dutch. What is he? Oh my goodness. I heard someone to the left. So he figured that Colm wasn't going to make a deal. They're shooting from that building. Right? He said I prefer it this way. Get him? <laughs> Is he dead? Okay, yeah. He's dead. Coming, coming, coming. We gotta move. Found something interesting. I don't trust Micah and whatever he might find. This is the only way you'll see. No, it's not. Trust you. You sure you got the lungs for this, Morgan? Shut the hell up. Wow. There's more of them. How dare he say that? It wasn't. We got what we came for. Those papers. You get tired back there, Morgan? All he cares about is the rat. Finally put that bastard Cornwall out of business for good. Did you put Dutch up to this? Me? I oh. just follow orders, Morgan. Hold on. That I could eat for dead eye core. Let's get the hell out of this place. Shoot that oil wagon. Shoot the oil wagon. Where? Oh, they did it. Papers for. Let's go. Well, at least we tried talking it out. Boys, lost your minds. Oh, I felt a lot of guilt in this life, Arthur. I've killed too often and poorly, but not this time, son. Come on. <laughs> All right, let's head for the hills, boys. So rescuing John is a problem, but this was okay. Oh my god, they're on both sides! 
Oh, that was a good shot. Look out, fellas. They're still coming. Shoot the bastard. Where? Oh, no one's on that horse. Looks like we've lost. Now, maybe. This is worse than rescuing John. I don't, like... They're really gonna come down on us now. I don't understand the thought process. Well, we all okay? Interesting social call. No, oh, don't play dumb and superior at the same time, Morgan. We all knew sooner or later Cornwall had to go. Let me see them papers. It's more attention we don't need. Feels like the whole world's closing in on us. Dutch. It won't be long before they find where we're hiding out now. Especially as we ain't exactly hiding out. We just need a distraction. Buy us some time. It looks like Mr. Cornwall's company has signed a railroad contract with the army. And they're also moving dynamite down from, well, the Annisburg mines to Santa Ana to resell. Okay. And there's bonds at his oil factory. Maybe there's a way to get them off our back and get the money that we need. Mike, you look into this dynamite. Take Bill, I guess, Arthur. You go too. We are gonna need a lot of it. And Mike, we need to talk. Figure out some things. Of course, boss. Figure out what? The plan. Getting out of here. Nothing's changed. It hasn't, huh? There's an old house west of Van Horn. Meet me there when you can, Black Lung. Let's split up. We'll wow. meet up back at camp. Yeah. This is crazy. Him and Mike need to talk about the plan. Is that so? Just the social call. I was thinking that maybe in those papers it would have some sort of communications from whoever they think the rat is. Unless they're just paranoid. Dutch won't admit that his stuff and has been really sloppy, so he wants to be like, oh, there's another rat. Let's find the reverend and then see what he wants. I feel like Dutch has me question if there's a rat, but I don't think there is. I just don't think he trusts anyone. <coughs> Reverend, <coughs> you okay, Mr. Morgan? I don't know, Reverend. These are challenging times for all of us. Yes, very challenging. You don't seem yourself somehow. I, I've always felt... I've left the morphine, sir. Oh, I'm in Reverend Swanson, would you excuse us a minute? Of course. New York. We are gonna go to New York. Now, they have been chasing us south and east and west. We're gonna get a boat, we're gonna get on a river, and we're gonna go north. New York. Then Tahiti, the Fiji Islands, or this place, New Guinea, dancing girls, freedom. But first, we have to make a whole lot of smoke, a whole lot of commotion. And then we disappear. We need more commotion. One <laughs> score and one whole hell of a lot of noise. More commotion? <laughs> we ain't so good at doing scores anymore, Dutch. Nope. Are you feeling all right, Arthur? Sure, I'm fine. Pardon me for interrupting. I brought a friend, Arthur. Hello. Hello. Dutch. This is Eagle Flies. His father is a great chief. Charles and I, we, um... Pretended to be mercenaries. Did me a great favor. Dutch Vanderlyn, how do you do? Not well, sir. Well, I am sorry to hear that. How's your father? Father has confused wisdom with weakness. His people, my people, we've suffered too much. Been lied to too much. Now they've taken our horses. Who? The infantry division posted at Fort Wallace. Why? Colonel Favors is a liar and a murderer. His people won't stop until we're all dead. Without horses, we cannot hunt. Without hunting, we will starve. This is another act of war. I see that. Men have helped me before, and I have money. Put your money away, son. 
Wow, what do you Dutch? think, Charles? You know I told your father I will not fight over some horses. But I made no such promise. Come along. Yeah, Arthur, we must go with them. To try to stop things from getting out of hand. It's already out of hand. Yes. Come along. We can get them more horses. Yeah. I know. I understand Eagle Flies is angry, but I don't see how this will help anything. Especially not with Dutch whipping them up into a frenzy. We've got enough folks coming after us about adding oh, armies to the list. Walk all over you? No, you're not. This is all that's wrong with this world. Okay, young man, lead the way. He is not the thinking horses smart. Are on a boat near Van Horn. I have a man waiting for us there. We have about name. 20 horses Surely right here. Without <laughs> killing anyone. Of course. What will be, will be. What anyway, will be, son, will be. Wow, Dutch. Favors. He's a vile man. He and his regiment take the pleasure of persecuting us. All the young have been taken from our reservation, shipped off to reform schools. Many women, too. The old are weak and sick, but they deliberately withhold medicine and supplies from us. This ends today. You have my word on that. I'm just thinking and why are you getting involved? So his dad Dutch? doesn't want him to get involved. You know me? We shoot fellers as need shooting, we save fellers as need saving, feed them as need feeding. Not this again. It's been quite a while since we helped anyone but ourselves, and even you know that. I told you, noise. We need noise, Arthur. Noise and faith. I still don't know what that means. Stop questioning and think. Just think for a second. The Pinkertons have had time to reinforce. The civilized world is closing on us. Okay. Who knows what else Molly told them? We need to move towards a conclusion now. Sure, but what's this got to do with any of that? Some good, honest conflict between the army and the Indians might be just the distraction we need. You're Kill such a piece of... With one stone, Cornwall was funding the Pinkertons' assault on us. Why do you think I dealt with them? With Cornwall gone, the government is far more likely to divert them to other issues, especially if there's one more scandal. And then we can slip away. Like I said, we just need that noise and one more score. You know, I went back for the chest I had hidden outside Shady Bell, and we're close, Arthur. That dynamite, the railroad contract with the army, it was all in those papers Micah found. I have a plan. You just have to trust me. <laughs> you just have to trust me. That is his favorite thing to say. I can't believe he's using the Indians as... There's Peta. Would it be scapegoat, kind of? He's using their conflict as a way His to men, make noise. Like I said, they'll help us. Knowing good and well, people are gonna die. The boat is still moored in the channel. Good. Let's wait until nightfall. Well, I'm gonna try my best to do this stealth, if it's possible. Hopefully no All one right. dies. Let's head out. So his dad thinks, like, the chief thinks this is not smart. Because he said he, he confuses wisdom with weakness. We need to get that boat ashore. Okay. I think the best plan is to paddle up there silently, board her. And when we got control, we'll deal with that anchor, float away. <laughs> we'll be ashore before anybody even knows what happened. Now how are we getting control? How are we going to do that? Good luck. I'm just glad Charles is here, honestly. That gives me peace of mind. 
Look at all the red dots. Oh my god. Pull up alongside. Quietly. Try not to kill anyone, Arthur. Subdue. Okay, we're subduing. Am I taking the first one? Stealth knockout, okay. That looked like a neck crack, Arthur. That was a neck crack. I heard it. You guys heard it. That was not a knockout. You mind the horses? I need a smoke. He might be knocked out. Oh, way too many right there. Way too many. Maybe I can get the horses riled up. What do I do? What do you think, Charles? No plan? There's three of them. Should I go up? I think they needed me to sneak. Okay. Let me do this. Let me go down. Let me get on the right side. House. For Christ's sakes, Pennington, you're taking us for a ride here. Say I'm sorry, fellas, but Oh, whoa, whoa, what did I say? <laughs> Don't know what can I tell my wife. Sorry, darling. No food this month. That cheating bastard Pennington robbed it all. Send her over to me. I got lots of money. <laughs> now that's just plain rude. <laughs> is this anyone going to help here? Like, what is going on? I'm very confused. Mess up? Release the anchor. Okay. Did I mess up, you guys? We need to do something about Plant you dynamite. The first idea how this anchor works? Just blow it up, then. Hurry. Come on, Arthur. Run! We weren't supposed to kill anyone. I I feel like I messed up. You seem to be going pretty fast, Dutch. I'm trying. We're headed to those rocks. Hold on. What is wrong with you? Boys, all right back there? Yeah, I think so. But there's a huge hole in the boat. Horses are spooked, and we're taking on water. Boss, get him out of here. Come on. 
Well, whatever else is wrong with you, you're quite the best pilot I've ever come across. The horses are confused. We need to round them up. I'll get these four, Arthur. Can you go after the others? Yes, yes. Okay. I want this one. This one's pretty. Over here, come on. Come on, come on. Are they swimming with me on their back? <laughs> Surely they're not touching the ground, right? Come on, horsies. So there was what? Six? One, two, th well, eight horses? We could have captured eight horses. We, we could have done that. Nothing to say. Oh, seems like Uncle Sam likes you fellas even less than he likes us. So it goes. My father doesn't want to fight again. Will one of you help me return the horses to my men? Well, Arthur will... Oh, Arthur needs to rest. I will. I like you, son. And after the horses, are we going to wait for the army to come and wreak its revenge? I hope not. Of course we ain't. Now let's go check out that fort of theirs. Is this a good idea? This is the only idea. And it is one that will suit both of our purposes. Fighting the army ain't wise. Stop worrying. Oh, and Sadie told me about Combe. Meet us at Doyle's Tavern in San Denis when you can. Shall we go, son? Certainly. We'll start some light reconnaissance out at Fort Wallace, and when Combs dealt with, you come meet us there. We'll set up a good spot for you. I don't know, Dutch. Yeah, well, I do. This is exactly the distraction that we need. Your father said that fighting was an impossible gamble. There's no winning for you in this. Your father need not know anything. He'd rather live in ignorance. Come along, Jeff. Your father would rather you did not do anything so foolish. I said I would stop this from happening. Would you talk to him? Speak with Rangeful. Yes. Would you? Of course. Sure. Oh. I'll speak with him. You head on back to camp, check on the others, Dutch's behavior. It's... I understand. <laughs> Thank you, Arthur. A rage unleashed. Let's see, what do we have on the map? So we have a question mark, we have Mike. Is that Micah? Yeah, question mark. We have Micah, we have Sadie, we have Henry Lemieux. What is this? Rainsfall. And then we have, I think, what's her name? Charlotte. My goodness. All right, you guys, that's going to be the stopping point. I'm just wondering at what point is Arthur going to stop arguing with Dutch and finally put his foot down and say enough is enough. I'm not joining your plans because right now he's he's expressing his concern and his worry, but we still go along with it and we still follow him. Him and Micah working together for the next steps. That is probably the most concerning thing I have heard all game. It'll be interesting when we get to Micah in the next part to see what he says, what Dutch's plan is, what's gonna happen. The fact that Dutch is like confiding in Micah, he, that's his confidant, it's just, it's insane to me. I, I can't even imagine how we have gotten to where we are, but Micah's the one he makes plans with and I guess Arthur has pushed back a little too much. He trusts Arthur to help fight and be the muscle, but he doesn't value- I feel like he doesn't value Arthur's opinion when it comes to, hey, this is a bad idea. Dush doesn't want to hear it. It's like, oh, well, sucks. Because I think it's a good idea, so we're going. This was crazy, but it was so much fun, and I'm so excited to continue the chaos 
in the next part. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this and I will see you next time. Bye guys.